All right, day three, we are in Fargo, North Dakota. Fargo, North Dakota? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so we, uh, yeah, I was gonna stop in Bismarck, um, but I felt good when I got there because uh, I wasn't that tired, so I just kept pushing on. And uh, so we're only about three and a half hours or so from Minneapolis. Uh, I actually considered just keep going to Minneapolis last night. Um, I was not that tired. And to me, uh, to my body clock, West Coast time, it was only, when I got here, it was only like 10.30 my time. Uh, even though it's 12.30 here, 12, local time. So, had I started a little bit earlier, yeah, I could have easily driven to Minneapolis in two days. Uh, well, actually, yeah, easier. Um, because the first day, remember the first day, I didn't leave until late afternoon. Um, so I didn't even leave in the morning and I got all the way to Missoula, Montana. So had I left early in the morning, I probably could have made it to Billings or maybe even further. And then yesterday, since I would have been that further, much further ahead, mileage wise, I could have easily made it to Minneapolis. So you can do Minneapolis in two days. Um, you just gotta, you gotta hit the road as soon as you wake up. You gotta drive all day, all night. Uh, that's it. Uh, so today's a short drive, three and a half hours or so. Uh, we'll, I'm about to leave now. What time is it now? It is uh, 11 30 a.m. Uh, I just grab a, I think I'm gonna grab a McGriddle and a, and a Coke. The breakfast here at this hotel kind of sucked this morning, um, but that's all right. So I'm gonna grab me a little snackage and then hit the road. And then uh, if we have time, we'll go to Mall of America or we'll do something else in Minneapolis. But today, the intent of today is exactly this nice short day uh, just to get there chillax and uh everything starts the official start is tomorrow morning all right yeah i'm trying to hurry up and leave but uh at the same time i'm watching uh jay and silent bob <laughs> so it's a cheesy cornball movie but if you're from my generation you love jay and silent bob who doesn't love jay and silent bob so uh let me wrap this up and get the hell out of here and hit the road and uh see you guys in a bit. we are on the road on the road again I don't know how the song goes, but I know Willie Nelson sings it. So, uh, it's nice and toasty. It's, uh, it says it's 76, but it feels hotter. Um, and so we should be in Minneapolis here not too much longer. So let's go. to record my uh dear diary from thing from last night to the, the end of the day recap so i'll do it now it's 5 45 in the morning so last so yesterday i got to uh got to minneapolis at a actually a re really reasonable time about 3 3 30 in the afternoon um checked in the hotel i went and uh, i met with auto amateur in person and went to his house uh, super, super cool guy. Funny. He's so funny. Uh, as I was uh, pulling up to his house, uh, I stopped just short of his house and I look at my phone just to look at the, uh, the address to, to the house, the house number. <laughs> and I look at my phone and it says, uh, two, it says, not there yet. Keep going. <laughs> I was like, it's so funny. <laughs> it says, uh, almost there. Two more houses something like that that's uh yeah he, he's a he's a comic he's funny uh cool super cool dude uh just like i knew he was gonna be anyways um so now it's uh day what day is this 
day four. Day four. We're starting day four. Uh, so day one. Day one. We drove from Portland to Missoula. Day two. Missoula to Fargo. Day three. Fargo to Minneapolis. And uh, so this is day four. We're gonna drive to Evansville, Indiana. Oh uh, yeah, we changed destination. Uh, so we're gonna drive to Evansville, Indiana, instead of Avon, Indiana, uh, which is a little bit further than Indianapolis, which is fine. Because that'll make uh, that'll make tomorrow a shorter drive down to Bryson City, North Carolina. Uh, so we're gonna get showered up here, go get some breakfast, and meet at his house at uh, and, and roll from there. All right. Good morning, good morning. So I've got a special treat for you guys. Right in front of me is somebody you guys may have seen from YouTube. Uh, let me flip the camera on, I'll show you. So I hope you guys can see that right in front of me. That 9-11 that says 9-Elf. That's Mr. James McGrath, AKA Auto Amateur. Today is our official start of uh, his organized event, the uh, 2021 Fall Tour of Tale of the Dragon. And he's wearing spanking brand new white tennis shoes. At least they look brand new to me. Either that or we spent all night cleaning them so they look brand new. <laughs> so uh, we, uh, we have started our journey and uh, it's going to be an epic drive, I think. typically a morning person uh, but to get up at 5 45 in the morning and to depart at 7 a.m. in two Porsche 911s on a road trip is awesome I don't mind getting up in the morning to do something like that it, it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a fun day and good morning there Minnesota State Patrol how are you doing us a good bon voyage and a safe journey. Silverado, I think it was a Silverado, because he's behind us, I didn't know. Uh, and at 
first he was, you know, he was trying to keep pace with us. And we just ignored it. But after a while, you know, the guy was doing a great job just staying with us. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was impressive, actually, to see uh, the speed he was going and that he was staying with us. Uh, but as soon as the road turned into interstate again, you know, of course, we, the speed limit was 65 or whatever. So we, we, we slowed down. We were chilling. Uh, and then the radar detector goes off, and sure enough, I see a state uh, Minnesota State Patrol uh, coming the other way. And I look at my speedometer, and we weren't speeding. So, but I see him turn around in the rear view, and the radar detector still going off, and then changes direction, lets me know he's behind me. Well, not worried about it, because uh, like I said, we weren't speeding. No big deal. Um, so myself and uh, Auto Amateur, we're we're in the right lane, and we're just we're chilling. Uh, the guy in the Silverado decides he's going to go around us. I guess he didn't see that the state trooper had turned around. And so the state trooper comes up behind me. Uh, but then he turns on his signal and he passes me. And he pulls over the guy in the truck. I thought he, for sure he was going to stop us two and talk to us and say, where are you going? And, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but no, he pulled over the poor guy in the truck because the guy went around us and sped up to pass us. Uh, which is unfortunate, you know, I feel bad for the guy. The ironic thing is in front of in front of all of us was an Amazon delivery truck and that guy was doing like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> and the state patrol didn't go chase him down. Uh, I, I kind of think, I suspect that the state police got a hit on his uh, radar from the Amazon truck. But then when we were in visual sight of him, he saw two Porsche 911s and his pickup truck. So when he turned around and then the pickup truck sped up to go around us, he probably assumed it was the pickup truck that was doing the speed. But it was probably the Amazon truck. So uh, if you're watching this guy in the Silverado... There's a white sun coming up in about half a mile. James just messed up my speech. Okay. So uh, if you're... If you're uh, Watching this guy in the Silverado, we're sorry. I feel bad for you. Hopefully, you just got a warning, uh, and the guy let you go. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. He, you know, he shouldn't have got pulled over. But we're happy we didn't get pulled over. Yay! <laughs> so, all right, the journey continues. We're about. Uh, fine, but you can drop it. We're about. Uh, 25% of the way into the trip. We've got a lot more roads to cover today. I'm saying that wrong. I think it's Missouri. This is the Auto Amateurs 997. I'm sorry, 991. Sorry. Ooh, I'm tired. I like his uh, his setup with such a stuff. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to steal that idea from him. This is my beast. I have the 997. He's got the 991. We're making good time. Sir, how awake are you? Uh, like this way. <laughs> uh, it did look like a robot was driving your car a few times. Oh my god, I'm so naked. I, I turned the radio on and off because I was like, is this, did the battery die? Did he go to sleep? <laughs> yeah. No, just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I had a good night's sleep as well. Uh, so did I. Yeah. Yeah. I, slept, I slept like a rock. Um, but I, I'm feeling pretty good now. That's good. Yeah, That's like good. I was okay for a bit, and then I had an hour that was really bad. Yeah. I, like where I just wanted to pull over and go to sleep. <laughs> and now I feel like, let's get on it. Oh, now I'm gonna fall asleep because I got a slice of greasy pizza from Casey's. <laughs> so in about 30 minutes, I'm just gonna be like, uh. <laughs> All right, let's get it.
like time has sped up again. So, I don't know what it is, especially about the three hour mark, but it took us forever to change that number three to a number two on the GPS. Oh my God. But we're through St. Louis. Uh, traffic's been good pretty much most of the day. Uh, we really haven't had any, oh, knock on wood. Anybody there? So we, we really haven't had any issues uh, so far traffic-wise. Uh, the only issue I have is uh, I think I lost a wheel weight or two because I can, I can feel a little bit of vibration from my tires. So uh, we stopped and we did a little technical maintenance check. Cars are fine. Uh, it just needs, well, I'm pretty sure it's a wheel balance. And we will try to get that taken care of here in Evansville, Indiana when I stop. So uh, not, to, not tonight though because by the time we get there everything will be closed and there are eastern time zone. So we'll be losing an hour again. So uh, talk to you guys later. Alright, I've got my GoPro on super wide angle so I can get both of us, me driving and you outside the window. So you call it one, two, three and we'll go. One, two, So what's going on the end of day four? Let me try that again. That was Hey guys, end of day four. We had a brilliant day of driving. Uh, a lot of it was just interstate and boring, but we had we had some fun. Uh, <coughs> and which I posted on Instagram, you guys should have seen that already. So we got some great content. But uh, we had so much fun. Uh, actually we used I'm not a fan of Apple Maps. I always used Google or or Waze. Actually, Waze. I use Waze all the time. Uh, so, auto amateur talked me into. He didn't, well, he didn't even have to. He told me he uses Apple and it works better than Google. I know since the last update, Apple was improved. So I had Google on my CarPlay. He had Apple on his CarPlay. And his was 20 minutes faster total time or 20 or 30 30 minutes 30 minutes faster I said no way so I switched and sure enough it was and I know how they did that because Google was gonna take us right down the middle of st. Louis uh, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon it was gonna take us through the middle of somewhere else and Apple Maps took us on a bypass and took us around which on a normal day with no traffic would take longer but on a day with traffic was actually much faster. Uh, so we actually got to Evansville, Indiana at a pretty good time. I mean, I got here with enough time. I had I had time to go wash the car. I had time to go get something to eat. I had, uh, I had time to go to Lowe's. I needed to buy some sockets because I forgot my sock. I brought all these tools and forgot my deep sockets. So I bought some sockets to keep in the car. So uh, yeah, it was a great, great day and tomorrow, is going to be the best day because it's going to be shorter than today but it's going to be uh, the day we arrive into Bryson City and the Appalachian Mountains so looking forward to it so much to doing that so the content from tomorrow on for the next couple days is just going to be amazing stay tuned